What's up, what's up, y'all? I'm back with another recipe video for y'all. Today I'm gonna be making pig feet. Y'all been requesting, so I finally, finally did it. So um, I started off with my pig feet, y'all. I scrubbed these first under um, running cold water, and then I put them in a pot with cold water that I salted heavily and added a good bit amount of white vinegar, and I let that soak for probably about 15 minutes, and then I rinsed them off and set them to the side. All right, here I got a hot pot here with a little olive oil at the bottom I'm going in with some chopped uh, red and green bell peppers, some yellow onion, and some celery. This is um, gonna be the start for my braising liquid. Um, that's how I wanna do these pig feet. I know some people, you know, Southern style, they might not, you know, they just season them up, let them go. Um, but, you know, I'm just trying to build flavor here. So I'll put those in a pot. Now I have a pretty big pot. I probably have probably anywhere from three quarters of a cup to a cup of each of these veggies. So as you can imagine, that's a lot. So I start out and I got my heat on high because I want to bring all of the water out of these veggies and um, I want to let them sweat. So I did salt them a little bit to help pull that water out. And then once the uh, water starts coming out, it's gonna evaporate pretty quickly because of how high I have my pot. All right, so um, if your pan gets a little dry, you can add in a little olive oil like I did so. My, um, once the veggies start to brown, I'm adding in these seasonings. I have a uh, garlic and herb seasoning, I have onion powder, and I just have some paprika. Um, what I'm doing is all these herbs and um, spices, I'm just um, going ahead and putting them on the veggies while I'm sauteing them in this pan, and that's gonna help to bloom uh, the spices and really uh, create that depth of flavor um, that I'm looking for. So just giving those a quick stir, I'll probably let these go for about five minutes um, in this state. And um, afterward, I'm going to uh, deglaze the pan. So you should, this is a non-stick pot and, um, you know, it really doesn't hold on too much. But you still see right here, it's a little crusty at the bottom. That's all flavor, bruh. It's all flavor. So I'm just, you know, getting them where I want. Probably about there. You see that? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, so um, I'm not really gonna go much further with these. I let it probably go for another minute. And then I'm gonna come in with this white wine. This is white cooking wine. You can find it in just about any grocery store, Walmart. I'm just gonna go in with a little bit with my heat still on high. Help deglaze the pan. Just take my wooden spoon <clears throat> and go back in the pot and then just scrape up any bits that may be on the bottom of the sides. If you have a, um, a pot that isn't non-stick, nine times out of 10, it'll be um, a lot of stuff on the bottom and you can just, uh, that'll really help with this step right here. Remember you're creating flavor. This is my favorite chicken bouillard. It's all natural, doesn't have any MSG or anything. Very flavorful, not too salty. So I'm just gonna go in here with probably, probably anywhere from about two to three tablespoons, maybe probably about four. And then I'm gonna add in um, water. And um, I just wanna add in enough water that's gonna uh, cover my pig feet, pretty much. And so um, it just really depends on how many, how much you're making. I have about eight pig feet. Some of them are pretty big. So um, yeah, that's why I have as much liquid as I do. Um, don't want to make it too watery. Just wanted to cover it and that's it. So I'm going to go in with some of my favorite Slap Your Mama. This is the hot. You can use this. You don't have to use this. You can use Tony's if you want to. It's not really that spicy. Just be careful of the salt. I used everything I had left in there. And then I'm going to go in with the apple cider vinegar, probably almost an eighth of a cup um, to a half a cup. Maybe not a half a cup. That's too much, but um, about an eighth of a cup. And then I use probably a quarter of a cup um, of the white vinegar. Anytime I'm cooking fatty pork, I want to have acid to counterbalance that. You don't have to do the vinegar thing. It's optional. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't even eat pig feet like that. So this is an experimental recipe. But um, anytime I cook fatty pork, I like to put a lot of vinegar in there just because I think it really just gives it that flavor. All right, y'all. So as you can see, this is my pig, pig foot. It's been cleaned. You know, it's got that nice white flesh to it. Mine are split. You can cook them whole. Um, I know most people do prefer them split. You see that little hole right there? I made sure to get that really good when I cleaned it, get any dirt that may be in there out because you don't want to eat that. It's nasty. And so my my pot was on high, but I reduced it. I reduced it way down to like medium low to low. I'm going to let these cook on low. And um, 
I'm just gonna put my feet in there and um, just get them nestled in there right so that they're ready to go. Um, once I get them most, most all of them in there, um, I think some are gonna be sticking out, which is fine because I'm gonna cover it anyway. But I just want them all in there so that that um, that brazen liquid can really just uh, <clears throat> begin to take hold, and you know, all all that flavor gets imparted into that um, skin because that's what you want. You know what I'm saying? You want the flavor. You know. Um, yeah. So uh, don't know really what I'm doing here. I guess I'm just chilling. Um, <laughs> here I go. I think this is about the last one. There's a couple more I'm putting in here. And um, yeah, so once I get all of these in there, I'm just going to make sure that they're uh, pretty much covered for the most part. You see, like so. And then I'm going to come behind. And um, yeah, like I'm just going to move them around, shift them a little bit just to make sure they ain't that good. And um, I've already added all my seasons that I need. I'm not going to add any extra salt or anything like that because I think it's pretty well seasoned at this point. Now I'm just going to cover it. I'm going to make sure my pot is on a low heat. My stove top holds a lot of heat, so um, I keep it very low. And um, I'm going to let these go for about three hours until they get to this point. And then I'm going to take the lid off. I'm going to add in about, um, this is anywhere from a quarter to a half a cup of hot sauce. Um, that hot sauce, once again, has a lot of vinegar in it. Acid, that's what I want with this, um, with these pig feet. I'm gonna give this a nice, good stir, like so. As you can see, pig feet, crazy tender like that. And then I'm not gonna cover the pot back up, but I'm gonna let it cook just like this on low for another hour. And this is after um, another hour, four hours in total. Um, and you can see they've gotten dark. Let me tell you something, that liquid, that pot liquor in there, delicious, man. I'm telling you, if anything, you could you could drink that, you could sop that up with a biscuit. But look, this is the final product. <clears throat> this is my first time cooking pig feet ever in my life. And um, you're gonna see the mukbang after. I thoroughly enjoyed them. It's not something I would eat on a regular, I'm just gonna be honest with you. And that's just because they don't, they just seem very fat and, and um, not too healthy for my arteries, but they were delicious and I would definitely eat them again as somebody who doesn't eat pig feet like that. But anyway, y'all enjoy the move. Hey, Jay, this Danny with hashtag. 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 Hashtag, hashtag the kettle. CCTV. Welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. Alright guys, today we're back with another mukbang. Today guys, we're back with another subscriber mukbang. Right. This subscriber request mukbang is coming from Janae J. Janae J commented and said she wanted to see us eat some pig feet, some collard greens, and some potato salad. Psh, hold up real quick. Y'all might know that I never cook pig feet on this channel. I personally don't eat pig feet. My family does. I've never really ate them like that. But y'all been requesting for a while. I told somebody a long time ago that it was gonna go down. So okay. finally, I made it go down. So I, I put it at the beginning of the video, show you how I cook these. Don't know if it's right, wrong. If you like it, try it out. See if you like it. But also, like I said, I got the grains of the potato salad. I'm ready to get in this move on. We're gonna get in all this in just a minute. But first, Dan's gonna hit you with a couple things. If this is your first time on our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And after, hit that post notification bell so that you're notified every time we upload. And give us a thumbs up, like That's right, it. guys. Hit that button. Hit that bell. Make sure you become part of the family. Guys, remember, hashtag grow, baby, grow. Hashtag the cancer move. Close our goal of 50,000 subscribers. Also, I want to say, guys, if you'd like to donate to this channel in any way because inflation is real, I buy groceries every day. So, with that being said, if you have the means and you'd like to, out of the goodness of your heart, donate to our channel. Check the Cash App, Venmo, and PayPal links in the description box. By all means, any little bit counts. Thank you so much, guys. If you've been here before, welcome. If you're new here, welcome back, guys. It's time to pray so that we can eat. Father God, in the name of Jesus, yes, bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless us with this portion. All these things we ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Oh, moment of truth. I need my drink. I'm scared. I, I never ate. I got a little. Well, we got a little lemon lime. <laughs> it's grapefruit. Whatever. 
I got on one glove, y'all, because I'm gonna be eating with my hands, and um, I got a cut on this finger, so. Cut. I'm trying to avoid the stinginess. I don't want no pork in the cut. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch this up a little bit. I'm gonna put these, put this in the middle, we're gonna share this, and um, we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna put the greens in the bowl. Yeah, nice heaping of greens. Thank you. <laughs> a nice heaping helping. He been helping. Sound like gentlemen. Okay. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I've been cooking my uh, collars in the Instant Pot. Instant Pot. I don't know why I be saying Instant <laughs> Pot like Instagram. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I've been living it. It's the same way I do it on the stove. I just put it in the Instant Pot and boom, mm. baby. All right, y'all. I ain't even gonna procrastinate. <laughs> it's time to go. So, I'm gonna go for this joker right here. But I knew exactly where she was. Y'all look. All right, y'all. Huh. So as y'all know, there's our, there are muck makers who eat pig feet regularly on, uh, on um, YouTube. We got Sans World, Cuzzo AB, uh, Mama Cuzzo, I think, um, uh, what's her name? Lady T's Sensations, I think she eats them. You know, I don't know if I like them because I don't eat them. But, uh, moment of truth. Ooh. I'm nervous, you see me? I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's good. It's just. I'm looking. The thing I was worried about, because I know they don't have a lot of meat. It's just, but it's really good. The skin. And the little meat pieces there is, mm, are delectable. <laughs> I'm over here looking for little meat pieces. Damn. I'm scared. This is good. This is good for all. Go for it. Huh? Let's rip it off and go for it. <laughs> it is good. Surprisingly good. Mm. I said, quit playing with it. Just go ahead and make it. <laughs> Flavor that that broth that they were cooking. It's a one <clears throat> little kick. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I think I was just put off by them because a long time ago my dad tried to get me eat when I was <laughs> our child. I was used to eating pickle feet. So I the did. ones off the ice cream truck. <laughs> right. So I did eat pickle feet, but they were firm. When he said he had some pickle feet. That's what I thought he was gonna have. That man reached in that pot. And pick that brown foot. Hell no. Hey, what is that? <laughs> Wait a minute, baby. Not a brown foot. I don't know what that is. How you feel? <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> They're good. I think it's just mentally. I, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I won't be offended. I just not know it ain't me. It's the foot itself. <laughs> it's it's they don't look like. Here you go, see look. They're gonna pick up a thicker piece of meat. You want? Mm mm. I got some out of here. <laughs> These don't look like beef. Right. In this form. <laughs> that ain't the part that bothers me. What bothered you? Because a long time ago I told you. And he took it out of that water. <laughs> <laughs> Why you gotta keep saying water? 
He took it up out that water, baby, and I wasn't used to that, man. I said, Bruh. How old do you think you were? I was probably in ninth grade. I was in high school. Mm -hmm. I was probably in ninth grade. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> But um, that was too much for me. It was sopping wet, and it wasn't pickled. I was not like, sopping. I said, "Bro, I can't do it, Daddy." I said, "Where is the meat at?" That part so special. What? Hard to say. <laughs> Got pepper. Some of that juice on there. That pot liquor. Do you prefer potato salad with green onions over the mm -hmm. regular onions? I do. I do, I do, I do. I do. I get your calls all day. Mm -hmm. I'm not even lying. Y'all. And you done found the easier way to cook them in the Instant Pot. Look. <laughs> Look at all these little stems. I bought them once in the bag because <laughs> I didn't feel like cutting and cooking and cleaning them. See, I never buy ones in the bag because we got too many stems. And you got to cook them bitches all day. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I said, wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> Either you pick the stems out, which is going to take forever, or you're going to have some big stems that's got big leaves on it, so you're going to have to tear that off. You might as well buy the ones that ain't um, in the bag. You're going to do all that. Or you're going to cook them in a pot, but you're going to cook them all day. Which, I mean, I guess I could, but, you know. But the Instant Pot, I cook it for an hour, 15 minutes mm -hmm. on high pressure, and baby, <laughs> don't lose no flavor. <laughs> That's right, yeah, bye. Potato salad got a bite today. I put a little bit more. Uh, Mustard in. I like it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. Too many of these foots. <laughs> you please stop saying foots. <laughs> mm. 
What was that? The bone. Yeah, I miss out on color IB, uh, color IB video. Like somebody paid a domino. Look at Jesus Christ! Oh, <laughs> do you know how to play domino? I do not. <laughs> you know how to play spades? I can play dominoes, but I can't play spades. I know how to play poker. <clears throat> hey, baby. So, I think I can eat them. You know, I've never eaten pig feet. I just never have. Not in this cook like this, so I just said I did eat them. I didn't say I couldn't eat them. When people ask me before, I just said I didn't eat them because I don't. But they good to me. Now can I eat them? They too rich to they too rich to be eating on the regular now. <laughs> they just too much to be eating on the regular. But they good to me. I don't think my wife is convinced. It was good what I tasted, but my mind is like. <laughs> it's my mind. That don't taste bad, but. Even the little piece of meat I found. <laughs> <laughs> Stowed away in the back. It was good, but. I'm not again. <laughs> Finishing these greens. If Finish the green. <laughs> they getting eight. <clears throat> Today we're gonna talk about some lies we were told as children that really aren't the truth. Uh, first one, eo. That cracking your fingers gives you arthritis. Uh -huh. When I found out, yes. Uh -huh. I looked it up because I got tired of people telling me. <laughs> I know that. I just mm -hmm. clean myself. I clean myself. My hands just gonna be swollen in paint when I. I don't know. You think it was like the around our age kids just crack their fingers because I don't even but do it now like I, that. I don't do it every now and then. I might. <laughs> yeah, I like but my like, pinky like feels like it's jammed. Then I need to. But uh, I don't know because when I was younger, sometimes I did. <laughs> I felt like I had to. Like I was like. I Bruh, crack, 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 crack. If, if you don't crack these fingers, <laughs> something bad gonna happen. Mm -hmm. I used to be like messed up over it. Everybody used to tell me, don't crack your finger. I'm like, I don't give a damn. Yeah, I used to hear it all the time. Boy, I'm cracking them. Boy, your hands mm -hmm. gonna be da 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 da. You ain't gonna be happy until you can't move them fingers. And well. I used to think in my head, off and right as well. I'm probably about 16. I gotta get, carry the I, one. <laughs> get 60 years of life. I don't worry about that. <laughs> I probably will get it anyway. <laughs> it's fine. Um, the next one is that people will be offering me free drugs all the time, according to Dare. Right. <laughs> they did at like. That I'm a hey child. Man, you want to smoke? Okay, come on. Hey you, man. Know you, <laughs> you know you want to do a little cocaine, a little booger sugar. <laughs> <laughs> That's really what they acted like. Like I'm walking down the street, going to the store, and some month, no man gonna be like, "Hey you, hey you, come in. I got a little white candy right. for you." <laughs> I think nowadays, I think it's easy to get exposed to drugs, but. It's the company you keep. Right. <laughs> Most of the time, that has to do with the company you keep and the people you around, bro. Mm -hmm. Ain't nobody walking up to you, hey, man. I'm gonna hit this pipe. <laughs> and holding it out. <laughs> hit this pipe, man. You <laughs> that um, show I was watching earlier called Stuck that's on Discovery. Right. Somebody had a crack pipe in their butt. Because oh. <laughs> the police was coming for her. Oh. And she had it in there. And you know, she got arrested anyway. So you went through pain and suffering. Shamed of yourself. Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. Right. And then, you gotta get a, could've got an infection. Right. So yeah, they was not out here trying to get us for drugs. <clears throat> That's crazy, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> that you can't use your notes. Want some of this here? Hair uh -uh. <laughs> You want some of this hair <laughs> From here on. <laughs> uh, 
The next one is that you can't use your notes in real life. I'm always looking at my notes when I'm at my job. Because like there are, what? <laughs> there are instructions. In fact, my job does not want me to not have them out there. <laughs> they right. want me to have them with Work me. Work instructions. Right. <laughs> notes. <laughs> With Bridget Seeds. Notes. Let me tell you something. We have our open notes test. I used to be turned up. <sighs> yes, honey. Let me flip through these notes so I can get this cool mm -hmm. 100. But sometimes them teachers, they be trying to make it hard. Dry face the hole. I ain't take the right notes. Oh, I didn't take the right notes. I used to love the teachers that if they give you something, like whether it be off of um, like, like notes that they gave you or like summaries that they gave you or your actual textbook, if they word it the way it was worded in the material you studied and you could look at that, that used to be like, Shout out to you because I can understand the teachers that sit here and give you a test and try to intentionally reword everything, right. make you trying to make it a trick question, bruh. Just tip, either way it goes, it like it is. I feel like if you put learning at the forefront, either way it goes, I'm gonna have to look up the answer and I'm gonna have to read it and know it, right? Especially when it's like, come on, why is you trying to make me reword this stuff? like? Critical thinking is not always necessary. <laughs> Do you want me to learn this information or not? Because either way it goes, if I still got to look it up for a test, even if I was supposed to know it before the test, if you give me the, the ability to use my textbook or notes or whatever, then I'm still going to know it. Right. Because I have to look at the question and say, hmm, now I got to go find it. You know, it used to get on my nerves. What? My mama, you know, like your parents call stuff back to you, like ask you questions. Mm -hmm. My mom be trying to reword the question, put them all out of order, then I done got them on the paper. Excuse me, I learned these in this order <laughs> with these wordings. You need to read it like that. I was like, my grandma don't do that. Let her, let her read it. Because you over here trying to change stuff then, up. Then you be mad, like, you be mad, like, you can't even do it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I remember that one time. Oh, uh, we had Study Island, didn't we? Huh? We we used Study Island. Did you use Study Island? I didn't use it like that. Well, I don't think I used it like that probably either. It was something but else different. It was probably um just. But my little sister used to have Study Island, but it was different. We have eleven years in between us, so it was different between when I did it and when she did it. And me and my mama was down there with that math problem so long that it made her mad. She just left. I was like, Mom. Mm -hmm. God, I'm just like, if we can't figure it out, God knows these kids just got to, you know, Man, sit here and try to figure it out. <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, it's trying to understand the way they teach math and stuff like that, I feel like, um, I don't know if it's revamped or not, but I feel like it needs to be revamped to a practical sense. Yeah, you just need to be able to, once you're past basic addition and multiplication and stuff like that, you know, all that stuff is gonna be relative to the work you're going in. So, I mean, the field of work you're going in. So, I just like, you know, I don't know how many adults can remember algebra <laughs> if they're not using it in their everyday life. Right. I don't know how many, if you put some of these adults in a probably an eighth grade classroom and sit them down and um with with algebra and then you know mm -hmm. stuff that everybody went through i'm talking about our age adults too right no, I'm the not, old, hey, now about, i'm like do not talking, sit me you said, you said and i mean they put that stuff on the board and you don't you don't get the privilege of trying to um be taught mm -hmm. you just have to figure it out most of us will sit there and look at that boy like bro come on now dog Come on, man. Damn, I <laughs> But I don't remember this. What do I do with this X? What, <laughs> what is this Y? It's all for X. <laughs> As I, Am I, I getting actually paid remember. To, I'm, am I getting paid to solve for I X? I actually remember more geometry than I do algebra, which is crazy. Now, I can. I was good at math, but I did I not. I didn't stand geometry. But I did not like it. Well, was not one of my favorites. Why are we doing this? I was good at math, but I hated it. <laughs> and um, wow. geometry was all right with me. Mm -mm. You know, I ain't like my teacher because she was racist. So this is another oh. conversation. The only equation that I use, 
on a regular, probably from school, that I um, I like I, I apply in life all the time, like um, outside of basic addition and multiplication tables, is uh percentages. Yeah. Because yeah. cross multiply and divide that. over a hundred, I do that easy. Like fractions. Because that's the only practical thing. For some reason, I always stick to me. Like if you need to. If I need seventy percent of whatever, like then I just take whatever on the bottom, multiply that by seventy, divide that by hundred, then they give me that. That percent. You know what is so crazy to me is that when I <laughs> when I see these posts like on Instagram with these people with these math problems and these percentages and these I mean and these parentheses and these answers these people be getting like they don't know that the parentheses you do first. <laughs> Why do you right. not know That too, like, come on now. Now I still remember order Maybe. operations here. Come <laughs> the on. supposed to be 17. People be getting 5, The Facebook questions be having like, y'all messed up. Now I'm just like, this is, this is really, they be putting them out there to really cop, to, uh, make the dummy show their head and y'all fall for it every time. I'm like, is y'all just doing <laughs> it to be funny? You must be doing it to be funny because the parentheses go first. God damn, Pim Dots. Pim Dots. Do what's in the parentheses first. Just do that first. The parentheses ain't there for no reason. It ain't there for the play play. They be look playing. cute. They be, they <laughs> be putting a little simple problems out there. Two plus two. <laughs> and then parentheses two uh, plus two. Stop it, AJ. And then they be messed up over it. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. All right, I'm going to do this last one. That if I went to college, I would get a good job and be able to buy a big house with a pool. Oh, such a lie. Some people might be a Some bit. people are. But But college don't necessarily equal bank. No. Not necessarily. Not. You got to you got to go put in some extra steps. Do some college. work. Especially now because probably when, you know, when we were younger, having a bachelor's degree at that point, probably when we were five, that's uh you know, that's enough to get you a big house and a big pool. But right. now sometimes you know, you got to get a master's and a doctorate and, you know, mm -hmm. this and that. And even, I wish kind of when I was in high school that they kind of like introduced things like with trade school. Like right. where they do like the air conditioning and plumbing. Because some of these people are making like $30 an hour, mm -hmm. you know, with no problem. So that would have been nice to, you know, know about it. Not that I'm, I would have, I would have been a bad plumber, you know. I don't like my crack out. I just, uh -huh. I would not have been. A good plumber. Could you be a plumber? <laughs> I feel like you're looking to get joked. What? Being um, a plumber? I have been a plumber. <laughs> yeah, I come to fix the toilet. Uh, why are you got to bounce? Because you got to bounce when you're a plumber. No! Yeah, I come to fix the toilet. You got to have that tube belt on. Why you had to bounce? Yeah, because you got to bounce. <laughs> no. Especially if you gotta be a plumber, you gotta be a little skinny, little skinny man. You can't be out here. I don't know too many big skinny. Big stereotype. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know too many skinny plumbers. I ain't seen too many skinny. Have you? Well, I ain't seen too many plumbers. Uh, I don't know no plumbers. Well, you know, considering my upbringing, <laughs> a lot of plumbers uh, at my uh, house. I probably. Uh, <laughs> Probably can yeah, well, yeah. You, you know. You recently had a plumber at your mom. Y'all remember? When we was, yeah, when we was, yeah. Had. Which, that, let me tell you something. I know we is going to the a very bad place, but y'all, them toilets up by my mouth did not use flush right because they below sea level. Whatever they got going on over there with that water. Anyway, when AJ and I went this last time, honey, that toilet went whoosh. I said, oh, <laughs> I said, ah, new money, new money toilet. I said, hmm. What the hell? <laughs> because, because before you had to intercede over the toilet. Look, when toilet. I first, when I first started going over uh, her parents' house, everybody was really like, "You gotta use that bathroom." Just you, if it may, it may not flush. You better what? pray. You better pray. So that's exactly what this. <laughs> pull that Bible out. Read the scripture to the toilet. <laughs> Tammy, the toilet. You need to read. <laughs> oh, you need to read, Tammy. A good old scripture. Get her, her heart, her mind, and her uh, switch a little push a thing together. 
And if it's the right scripture, it'll go down. And I think there's some truth in it because I was in there one day. Like, you got to pray over it. Over you do. Hand. I was holding that hand. I said, yeah. that toilet is saved, she okay? Said, Please, Lord Jesus, if you... <laughs> <laughs> you got I know you're able. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this new toilet, though, she's been redeemed. She's yeah. been redeemed. She is living right. for Christ. She's she high, she sit up. <laughs> she, she high and lifted up. I don't have to uh, feel like I'm, um, because the other toilet is loose. Shut up. I just feel like I'm squatting. That right toilet now. is going to make it in. Hmm? <laughs> that toilet is going to make it in. It might, yeah. In the Lamb's it's, Book of Life. His well, you name know, is... she's still in a trial period. You got to give her a year. You got to give her a year. You got to give her a year. See what happens. Okay. Your mama gonna be like, I don't appreciate y'all. Talking about I'm sitting up there talking about my stews. <laughs> She'd be okay. She knows the things they might until they want. Yeah, you ought to be happy to bless her too. Okay, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> Pig feet make me sleepy. Uh, it's your nap time anyway, ain't it? No. It is your nap time. This was time you went sleep yesterday. Don't say I didn't eat y'all. Cause look at all my bones. Look at your bones. Those bones, those bones, just big old big feet bones. Blah, blah, blah. Uh-uh. I can't eat another one. Now. <laughs> I'm for real. And my blood pressure out of here. Uh <laughs> and me out here. <laughs> like when we ate that sauce. What day is it? Uh, do I get on the bus this morning? <laughs> 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 is the bus here yet? Mm, I don't know right now. Mm -mm. But y'all. Ooh. We can go ahead and slide up out here. Mm. <laughs> well, thank y'all for joining us today. If you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Guys, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Like, like, like the video. Drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think of the video so we can interact with you in the comment section. Guys, remember to share. Share this video. Share it out with your friends and family. Because sharing is caring. So care about it. Care about us. Uh, we love y'all. We really, really do. We do. We do. Bye-bye.